Hey guys, a um, little bit of a post-mortem on my uh, previous camcorder. Uh, this is the uh, Canon HF200. Um, as you may remember in a previous clip I mentioned that this had started acting up and giving me trouble, especially when I was transferring uh, files uh, to the PC. Um, so to uh, determine whether or not I could continue to use this at all, um, what happened the last time I used it is uh, um, I discovered that uh, it wasn't charging batteries anymore. Um, and so to make sure I'd been using this uh, Duracell replacement, whoops, not this one, this Duracell replacement uh, for, I don't know, a long, long time. Um, and so I thought in case something had happened to this battery, I got the original one that came with the camera and put that back in. Uh, 24 hours later, it hadn't charged that at all. Um, so I thought, okay, it's either the sensing or the charging circuitry uh, in a camcorder. Um, however, if I just plugged the uh, wall wart directly into the camcorder, it seemed like it worked fine even with no battery. Um, so I went on eBay and found a charger uh, and I can now charge these batteries and when I put them in the camcorder it works fine. So uh, the only change I guess from my previous procedure is instead of charging the batteries in the camera I charge them in here and since you have to have the wall wart connected with this particular camera before you can connect the USB it's probably just easier for me to take the the card, the memory card out and uh, transfer it directly to the PC like that. So um, I think that's basically good news. I think it means I'll get to continue to use this because um, it has a number of advantages over the one that uh, that I got to replace it which is the one I'm using now. Um, so again uh, this is the original camera and because I just have a monopod stuck on the side of my bench, in order to get a reasonable field of view, um, I just take a wide angle conversion lens on it. And that's been my stable setup since, yeah, I guess 2007, which is a long time. So I guess I can't complain, really. This thing has uh, served me well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this camera to show you a little bit about some of the uh, initial, let's say, uh, challenges in using the replacement uh, camcorder. So this is the new Panasonic uh, Beast, which I got to replace. And as I think I mentioned in a previous clip, I just went on the net, googled best camcorder or whatever, and uh, Forbes.com said this was way and above the best one on the market these days. So I thought, okay, why not? Let's get it. Um, First thing you'll notice is it's got the um, radio mic receiver on the top here um, because my first big problem with this is the audio quality. Um, it's got like this complex 5.1 uh, microphone thing here on the top uh, but the sound quality that I'm getting out of it is extremely muffled. There's lots and lots of options uh, in the menus for uh, setting things like mic levels and AGC and all that sort of stuff but so far I didn't succeed in getting what I'd call a successful outcome uh, with trying all sorts of various adjustments. I either get low audio or distorted audio um, and so this works but as you can see this is a tad cumbersome and so long as it's stuck on the uh, monopod it's okay, but if I want to take it off and just uh, manually, yeah, use it, it's, yeah. The other problem is it's quite heavy. It's very solidly built, and so this thing is somewhat heavier than the other one. And so, uh, again, when you're using it just in your hand, it's a little bit more inconvenient. And to add to it, this uh, wide-angle conversion lens... Um, feels like it's made of solid bloody steel because it doubles, pretty much doubles the weight of this thing. Um, so, as I say, fine so long as I'm stuck on the monopod. Um, but the audio thing is definitely a challenge at the moment. 
Um, and so, uh, yes. Uh, also, you don't get a whole amount of life with the uh, battery that it comes with. And so, uh, I have ordered up a, long, uh, a much bigger battery to go in here, which of course will add to the weight even further. Um, so yeah, some initial problems. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming I'll get, you know, I'll figure it out. But as I say, I'll, uh, I don't know if I can weigh this thing, if I have a scales that has enough... Um, see if I can weigh this thing. 836 grams this thing weighs in its current configuration. That's almost a kilo. <laughs> That's, so this thing weighs about two pounds here stuck in your hand and so yeah. That's a little inconvenient, uh, for what I've been doing anyway, so um, uh, luckily uh, this, the uh, the Canon one still works, and so uh, we have options, we have options, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys in case, um, you know, you're in a similar situation, or you have the HF200, and you encounter a similar fault, or you're looking for a replacement. I get the general feeling that this is a sort of step up in the technology um, so it's obviously it's a 4k camera it has all sorts of sophistication in it um, but it has downsides as well so uh, you can get just a fixed mic that you uh, bolt up put on the shoe so I think I'll try one of those um, another problem with this one um, is the video light so the video light is inbuilt, there it is right there, with the inbuilt uh, video light, is you have three options which you can set up, there's no manual control of it, you, have, you can set it in the options to always on, always off, or automatic, in which case it has some means of determining itself when the light level gets low enough that it will turn the video light on. Um, in practice I found that to be not didn't work really well because I'd be shooting something that was dark and it would have the light on and then suddenly the light would go out uh, and and of course you've no way of turning it back on except going into the options finding it in the menu and that and so on whereas on the Canon there's a little button on the screen and you manual on manual off it's like exactly what I need so so um, if I stick you can of course get a uh, a video light that you stick on the shoe um, and I'm hopefully if I do try one of those it has its own manual controls on it and it's not just uh, a victim of your like of the limited options you have here so <clears throat> there you go um, I think I was dead lucky when I selected the Canon one originally that it just seemed to do everything I needed it to do in a nice way uh, this one can probably do a lot more things with it uh, but there's also downsides. There you go guys, that's my experience. Um, obviously if you have any similar experiences with either camcorders like this or the Canon, I'd be interested to hear in the comments. Thank you guys, speak to you soon.